Hey y'all, thank you for tuning back into Lip Mom Live. Today I'm here with a favorites video and these are all of my current favorites. These are just some things that I have been loving. Either they have made me feel more comfortable, more feminine, overall more happy, or they have served me a really functional purpose in some way, shape, or form. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm just gonna grab, um, this is in no particular order. I'm just gonna grab, I have a ton of things in front of me. So let's get into this. The first favorite I have is going to be something I actually got recently, but it's a favorite because it just is. Like, I just know I'm gonna love this and love using it over and over again. And it is this beautiful silk mask. I did order it from Nordstrom and it is by the brand Slip. It is just a really beautiful silk mask that is like gorgeous. It has really good protection. You can't see that much light through it. Two layers of fabric, so nice protection. Very soft against the skin, very comfortable. Okay, my second favorite is something that I loved over the summer, but I still see myself wearing this in the fall, and that is this Boater Straw Hat. I ordered this from Nordstrom as well, and I did wear it for uh, some family photos we took a while back, and I absolutely love this hat. I've been like wanting a boater hat forever and it was so hard to find the right one and i finally did this one just like makes me feel like i'm on vacation it is so pretty it's so well made um and it just screams like expensive vacation so love 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 this my next favorite is going to be this blazer dress i ordered it a size too big because i wanted it to be really oversized and this is it right here. This is from Pretty Little Thing. I did wear it recently for a video, but of course you saw it from like the chest up. It is double breasted. It is very oversized, very roomy. I will link it below. I definitely see myself wearing this with leggings for the fall. And since it rains here a lot, I had in mind to buy some rain boots. So some really tall rain boots with some leggings and this blazer for like a cold rainy day. Or I could even wear it with like biker shorts and some sneakers. So the options are endless for this. I really, really love the pattern. I think it's one of those patterns that'd be great this fall and winter, but also I can wear it year round. So yeah. Um, so another one of my favorites has been these acrylic bins or acrylic containers. And I did purchase these from Amazon and I have been loving these because what I'm able to do is I'm able to pull from my makeup collection, put just the things that I'm using currently in these bins. And so it's really easy to see. These will go really great in your vanity drawers as well. Um, as you can see, I just have some foundation, some primers and concealers in this one. My lip products and another one that my current favorite lip products and some eyelashes. And then the other one, I have my powders, like all of my powders. They are stackable as you can see. So I will link these below. So this next favorite is my Kopari Coconut Oil Deodorant. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I would really like this as much as I do, but this deodorant um, is, is really good quality for a natural deodorant. One of the things that I struggle with is finding a natural deodorant that will take me from morning to night and I can do things with it. And I still have not found that. So what I've been doing is I've been using my aluminum based deodorant in moderation so like when i have to go out or when i'm going to be outside and doing things and or um if i'm going to be out for an extended period of time i will use my regular chemical aluminum deodorant but when i'm at home and when i'm not going to be out for that long i love using this one because um it just it, it helps just kind of maintaining my sweaty pits for short periods of time so this is what it looks like. It comes with a ton of products. I've probably had this for two months now and this is how much I still have to go. So lots of product and I love the ingredients list. It's very soothing because of the coconut, I'm assuming. It is really, really soothing and of course it's natural so it's better for you. All right, so my next product that I have here is my Oat Cleansing Balm and this is from Inky List. I purchased this from Sephora. This balm right here, I love how it comes in this value size. It does a really good job of just like loosening up and breaking down those makeup particles. 
And you can either rinse your face or gently wipe your face with a makeup remover wipe or a baby wipe. And that's typically what I do. I will loosen up all the makeup with this and then very lightly wipe it away and then proceed with my skincare routine. So I've really been loving this. It's a great price. It was sold out the last time I checked on Sephora, but I will put the link down below if you're interested in this. And you can see if it's in stock. I believe you can put your email into the Sephora website and they'll let you know when a product is back in stock. So this has been really, really nice. Um, the price was right and you get a good amount for what you paid for. This next product I received in an influencer box and man, this is amazing. And it is my Saturday Skin 10% Glycolic Acid Pore Control Complex. As you can see, I have used about half of this, maybe a little less than half. And I've had this for, I wanna say three months now. Um, what I do is I put a little bit on a cotton round. After I wash my face, I will apply this in upward motions. And um, I do my neck as well. And this really does a great job of really resurfacing your skin, removing all the dead skin cells, any excess dirt, oil, and makeup. This does a wonderful job. They also have a pore control complex in here. Um, I don't suffer with large pores, so I can't speak to the effectiveness of that. But as far as the glycolic acid component, this is 10%, so higher than anything I've used so far. I've used 5% and 7%, but this is the highest I've used so far. And I have really dry skin. It doesn't dry my skin out too much. And I really, really like how it cleans, leaves my skin feeling clean and resurfaced. And the next thing I do is I go in with this right here. I almost didn't wanna share it because I'm not sure how much Target is carrying of this in stock. This is the truth right here. This is, they say it's 100% rosehip oil, but this does have almond oil in it. So if you have nut allergies, just keep that in mind. Um, and also it's not 100% rosehip oil. But I think what they mean is that it's 100% natural. I don't know how to describe this. It's just really amazing. It's really effective. Um, this is what the oil looks like. It's like a yellow oil. Um, the dropper doesn't contain the oil, so you do have to be careful with the dropper. But rosehip oil in general is really good for hyperpigmentation and acne. But this is like $6 and some change. And for it to be this effective and this cheap, I was astonished. I'm like amazed. So what I do is I go in with this serum and it leaves my face bright. It has lightened up my hyperpigmentation spots like in a matter of days. This is like amazing. Like I don't even know why this is so cheap, but... I'm definitely going to be stocking up on this because this does a trick. Like my husband just used some of this last night and he had like an acne flare up. Like he just had like an episode. Um, so we did a mask for him and he put some of this on and he woke up and his face was like smooth. Like that's how good this is. So um, I have dry skin. So the fatty acids in here is like my skin just drinks it up. It loves it. It has vitamins A, C and omega-6. So not only is this really, really moisturizing, it is also brightening. Something I've been spraying on my face recently is my rose water. And my rose water, I feel like it's it doesn't do much more than refresh my skin and give me extra moisture when I need it. Um, I've also set my makeup with this and it just kind of helps everything kind of blend together. So I've really been loving this. They do sell one with apple cider vinegar. I want to try that one because I think that one will be good for like feminine hygiene so that when you after you use the bathroom, you can just kind of spray with that. I think it's called rose water and vinegar. Um, so I have to get my hands on that one. And then they also have another one that's rose water and glycerin. And I feel like that would be really good for my dry skin just to give it that extra moisture. And also probably really good for hair. So I know people love to use just this regular rose water on their hair as well as on their skin. But I've just been spritzing my face with this whenever I need some extra moisture. And this is very spa-like. Next up is my latest perfume and I have the travel size because I just don't use perfume that much like I can't justify large bottles of perfume because they would just be sitting there forever it's not like something I could pass down to my daughter because they do expire so what I've decided is I'm going to build up a collection of travel size 
fragrances and this brand right here ellis brooklyn is my latest find and i've been loving this brand i first experienced it via a sample that i got with a, a sephora order that one is called i'll put the name of that one on the screen that one is amazing this one that i just purchased is called fawn and this one is like the perfect warm sweet musk for like the fall and winter so i will be wearing this for all fall and all winter and the best part is that this is clean so if you look at it on sephora it will have the green clean sign with the white check mark because it is clean y'all when i looked up the founder of this that was kind of her goal she had just had babies and she wanted to create a fragrance that was and didn't have all those chemicals in it so she created this because she wanted a cleaner alternative to fragrance and we spray fragrance on our skin some of us use fragrance every single day and when you think about it we use uh, toothpaste lotion deodorant perfume shampoo conditioner like regularly at almost every day of the week and if all of those products have a bunch of chemicals and a bunch of fillers and a bunch of preservatives and we're putting all those things into our body every single day for an extended period of time for years and years it's no wonder that you know sometimes you get things that you can't describe like how did i get this or how did i get that now that being said i'm not i'm not claiming to be a professional or to know why people get certain things certain um illnesses but what i am saying is that that was a part of my decision making and becoming more conscious about what goes in my body is that i wanted to reduce the amount of extra and excess that was going in or on my body and so even what i eat i pay really close attention to the ingredients list and the same thing goes for things like perfume so i'm so grateful for brands like this that are making these types of things the next thing i want to get into are perfume oils because it's there's no alcohol it's just oil and i've heard that the oils last longer um they are a bit more pricey so i'll have to like do some research and try to decide on one and then save up for that particular one fawn has been my latest favorite it smells so good it's warm it's it's woodsy it's sweet it has a musk it, it's all of those things like i can't describe it but i will link it so that you can read about the different notes in this perfume my next favorite is something my husband picked up i didn't think i would like it as much as i do but i have been loving this toothpaste right here this is the hello activated charcoal with fresh mint and coconut oil epic whitening fluoride free toothpaste and you can find this at Target. What I do is I put some of this on my toothbrush and I do not wet my toothbrush. I go right in with this. When I brush my teeth, I typically start with my back teeth, but with this, I start with my front teeth. That way I get the full benefits of whitening my smile because it has these little silica beads in it. And obviously charcoal is great for teeth whitening. And so I start with my smile first. And then that way, by the time the toothpaste disintegrates, I just go inside my mouth and I get the full benefits on my smile first. And no water, I don't wet my toothbrush or anything. I just put some on the toothbrush and go right in to my smile. And then I do the insides of my mouth and behind my teeth. And this has been really great for like keeping my smile as white as possible. I drink a lot of coffee and I've been loving this. There's also something else, it's a DIY that I am thinking about sharing. It's a DIY teeth whitening recipe. If you guys are interested in that recipe, let me know. It's something else I do to keep my smile as white as possible because I drink a lot of coffee. And sometimes teeth whitening kits can get pricey. For me, my teeth are kind of sensitive to teeth whitening solutions. So I've been loving the DIY and I've also been loving this toothpaste for keeping my smile bright. Right. My next favorite is my Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation this is bomb i love this foundation now this color here was the closest match for me and it is a bit too yellow but or golden i don't know what, which one you would say however i am able to blend it in and i love the finish of this it's it's a uh, medium to full coverage you can build it up without a problem and um it is more like a satin finish it's not too matte and it's not too dewy 
This is a black owned brand. So I'm happy to spend my dollars here. I will definitely be purchasing more from this brand. Uh, now I did look at the ingredients list on some of the other products they carry and not all of them are as good as this one. This one does have one or two things that are not super duper clean but this was the closest thing I could find to being clean. And so I'm happy to spend my dollars supporting another black sister. The quality of this foundation is amazing. I've been loving this. Um, I have it on today. And as you can see, like all of my imperfections are blurred. And yeah, it's just a really beautiful foundation. My next favorite is, oh, you know what? I should have brought the soap, but you guys know I love the soap for this brand. This is Dr. Bronner's and I have this organic orange lavender scent. Um, it's an organic body lotion and this stuff is like so addictive. I've been able to purchase this on sale for like $7, but I think the normal price is like $9. And instead of a lotion, I would probably call this like a milk, like a milk for your body because it's so light, but it penetrates your skin. I love to use this right after the shower when my pores are open and I just put it on my legs, my arms, everywhere I need it. And my skin is, is just so silky smooth afterwards. Um, so this is not your super duper thick moisturizer, but if you're looking for something light, to wear especially during the day as we're getting into fall and winter this is really really nice i have loved it over the summer especially this scent um it just kind of lifted my mood and it was nice and light and moisturizing my husband loves the peppermint one um and these have just been awesome i love that they're clean they're natural so you don't have to worry about what's going in your body and it's also kind of a little slice of luxury it's a very luxurious experience putting this on so i've been loving this as well i'm almost done guys so this next favorite is something i've been using forever and this is my chanel le beige healthy glow sheer color broad spectrum spf 15 powder so this does have um, spf in it it is a chemical spf and this isn't the cleanest product but i purchased this on my wedding anniversary from Saks Fifth avenue and so it not only has like sentimental value to me but it is such good quality it's a bronzer i have it on today this is what it looks like and it is so beautiful i just love how much red is in this powder um so it serves as a beautiful bronzer for me this isn't a bronzer i just use it as a bronzer the shade that I have is N70. I have another shade as well, and I, I don't know where that is, but I love these powders. They are so, so good quality. My next favorite is currently on my eyes, and I've used it only once, just today, but I already know it's a favorite, and I do plan on using it lots more. And this is the Lip Bars Liquid Eyeshadow. This shade, what shade is this? I don't know what shade this is. I think the shade is called Jet Setter. Um, so this is what it looks like jet setter so that's what the wand looks like and it's it looks just like a lip gloss and it is so easy i didn't have to do any blending so i just literally just kind of swiped it on and that's what it's made for it's made for women who are on the go who want that look like you know i tried to apply some eyeshadow today but don't have the time to do all that blending and stuff so perfect for a mom like me again this is a black owned brand and this is just a really good quality product i wasn't expecting to love it as much as i do but i really really do and also i see this as really great for reapplication because you can just pop this into your purse and when you want to reapply or touch up a little bit you can do that easily so love this all right speaking of eyeshadows my next favorite is this so jaded kathleen lights and color pop palette this palette is like my dream palette it has every single shade i could ever want it is a cool tone a warm tone a colorful a summer a winter palette all in one and i'll show you what i mean by that so these are the shades right here and as you can see you have your cool tones you have your warm tones so everything you could want to create a beautiful eye look the only thing i don't see in here is like a, a dark like a black eyeshadow which i have in another palette but this right here is beautiful when i was looking for a palette i just wanted one palette like i don't want a bunch of palettes i don't wear makeup that often especially not eyeshadow 
So I was looking for a palette that I could just use like all purpose. And I didn't want something that was too neutral because I have that and I wanted color. And I didn't want something that was super all colorful and had colors that I would never use. Um, so this is a great compromise. I really, really have been loving this palette right here. It's money well spent and it wasn't that expensive. So I will go ahead and link this below for you guys. All right, and my last favorite is something that is very random and it is this spray bottle. This spray bottle is kind of like an aerosol spray bottle. And what I have in here right now is pure alcohol. I use this when I take my kids to the doctor's office. So I use this to kind of like spray the atmosphere, like spray the room. <laughs> I use this to kind of spray the air for any droplets. And I also use it to spray the bed. And because it's such a fine mist, like it's super fine, um, it does a great job of drying very quickly. So I'm not like wetting things in the doctor's office, but it's a nice bit of security for me because I can spray things down. I basically spray every surface, the doorknobs, everything that's in that room that either myself or the doctors are gonna touch. I'll just give it a light spray, give the air a spray. I use this in the elevator as well. I know I'm kind of crazy y'all, but other than knowing that God's gonna protect us, this definitely helps to give me peace of mind. So I figured I would share it with you mommies. Um, if you go to the doctors or the, the, the grocery store, wherever you're at, this is nice because it doesn't drench the stuff. It just gives it a light mist. And I put pure alcohol in here so I know it's killing the germs. It's not destroying property or wetting things up. So just thought I would share that. I know, very random, but you'll love this, trust me. Thank you. I totally forgot to include this candle in my favorites, y'all. This is an absolute favorite. I purchased this from Target. This candle is like better than any Bath and Body Works candle. Like no joke, it, if you like this scent. It's described as freesia, so it's very hard to describe the scent, but yeah, sparkling yuzu. I really can't describe it. I feel like it smells sweet, it smells like flowers. It's um, the throw, and I just learned that term. Throw means how far a candle goes. The throw is really, really good. Like you can smell this all over the house when you burn it and it doesn't take that long to smell it either you guys know how sometimes you have to prime the candle burn it a little bit before you can really smell it well this you can smell right away and even just leaving it open like this you can smell it like this is amazing and it only costs 9.99 now not all of these opal house candles are created equal because i purchased another one and i didn't really like it but this one right here is amazing. So this is a definite favorite. Okay, y'all, so thank you for sticking with me through this very, very long video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section for me. Thumbs this video up if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next upload. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.